Hello Haskellings, day 6 of the 2021 Advent of Code requires us to simulate lanternfish. Because our input is on a single line, we start with the interact prime function, which doesn't split the input into lines. We then split on commas and read in the ints like we've done many times before. To process the lanternfish more efficiently, I'd like to group them into generations, so let's write a histogram function to do the grouping. It will create a list of tuples of the generation and its population count. We can use the fanout operator from control arrow to extract both of these concisely. But it seems that we are not yet re-exporting control arrow from the advent of code module, so let's fix that now. It's already in the list of imports, so all we need to do is add it to the list of re-exported modules. And now it's time to write the actual simulation. Our step function will take in a single tuple and output a list of tuples in the next generation. The zeroth generation will spawn an eighth generation baby and itself go back to generation six. All other generations will simply count down to the next generation. We combine these by once again grouping by generation, then combining these groups. We can't use sum here because that would also add the generation numbers together. We just want to add the population counts. So we can do this by folding over a lambda like this. Actually, let's make this function also do the map over step, and we can then call it step prime, which will do a step for everything. So it, it looks like we also don't have group on, which I had thought we used a lot last time. It's coming from data list extra, so let's also add that to the advent of code module. This turns out to be not so simple because there are many names defined by data list extra that are already used in other modules. So let's just hide all of those from data list extra. We still have an ambiguous type error because we're not yet using the step function. So let's just apply it the required 80 times to the initial values. We only need to find the resulting population, so all that's left is to sum over the population counts and we're done. And part 2 just requires us to increase the number of steps. Too easy. Until tomorrow, happy Haskelling!